you probably asked yourself before, you know, what does a real estate coach really do? Or what are the different types of real estate coaches? Or maybe you've had a coach before and it didn't really change your business. It didn't get you a result or maybe the thing you were promised. You know, of anyone I know, I feel the most qualified to talk about coaching, the benefits of coaching, and maybe sometimes being over-promised and under-delivered with a coach. I've spent over $1 million on personal development and coaching, business coaching, tax coaching, wealth coaching, and so I've seen the good, bad, ugly of coaching. And the thing that I am super passionate about, I have this deeply held belief that if you want to achieve in an area of your life that's important to you, the first thing I do is seek someone out that has achieved in that area. So if I want to figure out how to, you know, get all get off the roller coaster ride with my weight, I'm going to seek someone that has figured out how to be consistent with maybe diet or exercise. You know, what are the mindsets around those areas of life that someone else has mastered and they're able to take someone from this roller coaster uh, of, you know, bad habits and good habits and I can challenge myself for a little bit of time but then I fall off the wagon. You know, I seek that person out that has gotten consistent results and I look at the folks that they've coached and to see if those results have continued outside of the time when that coach worked with them. And I also look at the coach themselves to make sure that they've achieved sustainable results in that area of their life. And so I feel like in real estate, there are so many options, you know, where you can just confuse yourself about what's possible. And most of those options lead you to living a life that's out of control when it comes to time and stress and the money's not even there. You know, stay tuned till the end of this video. I wanna offer a challenge to you where we can spend 21 days together and I can train you and coach you and let you a little bit into my world and how I think about time and how I've gone from an overworked, underpaid real estate agent to a completely free business owner with measurable wealth, not only in terms of money, but in terms of the impact that I've had on my family and in my community. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications and comment below so that we can have a dialogue back and forth about you know, this, uh, this topic and challenge each other to live a bigger and better business and life. So here's the thing, not all coaches are made the same and not all real estate coaching is the same. And this is where you need to get really clear about the outcome you want from your coach. And so with Real Estate B-School, it is definitely a different breed of coaching. We call it business coaching. And really, we're trainers first. We provide implementation support and we also provide coaching. So our coaches have done the thing that we're promising we can help you with. That's the first thing I would look for in a business coach. And when you consider like the life of a business coach or the life of a coach, you know, our coaches are walking the walk. It takes nothing. There's no requirement to call yourself a coach. You know how I know that? One day in 2013, I decided to be a coach. My journey in business was super hard. I went from doing everything in the business to generate enough leads to sell 27 homes in my first year, and it sucked. I worked seven days a week, I was stressed all the time, and I had no money to show for it. I went from there to building a business that allowed me to have complete time freedom complete money freedom and my stress was almost non-existent. When I did that, none of it was easy and I had to share it with others that wanted to do it so they can avoid the same pain that I went through. So that's the first thing is just to make sure that the coach you're aligning yourself with, make sure they've done the thing that you're looking to do. You know, oftentimes we come to a coach because like I said, we've hit a roadblock in an area of our life where we just want to you know, maybe fast forward, get somewhere, you know, get further and get there faster. That's probably the number one reason that someone comes into our world. And being in business and being in real estate, the odds are stacked against you. You know, that's the next thing to consider is, you know, your chances of success in this business are really low. And if you don't align yourself with someone that's done the thing that you wanna do, a qualified business coach, 
the chances that you do it on your own are really slim. And I'm not talking from like, I want you to fail. The numbers are stacked against you. You know, 82% of real estate agents don't renew their license on their second anniversary. And so your real estate coach has to give you this predictable path to success. And that's my next point is that if you're working with a coach, they can't just be like the rah, rah coach, like get on a call. Like what'd you do last week? Where are you failing right now? What's the immediate fire that's right in front of you burning, you know, and taking all of your attention. Let's talk about that. You have to be working with somebody that has this plan. There's actually a path to be successful. For us, we call it a 3190 13 7. A lot of numbers. I'll break it down for you. It's a three year vision, a one year plan, a 90 day world. There are 13 weeks in a quarter and there are seven days in a week. You have to have intention around all of that. Be clear about where you're headed to in your three year vision. Break it down into very clear goals for your one year, not only in your business, but also in the areas of your life that matter most to you, your relationships, your spiritual life, your emotional well being, your physical body, right? We don't want you to sell a thousand homes a year and be divorced and 200 pounds overweight and have a heart attack and be miserable and fall away from your faith, right? That's not a win. We want you to win at work and we want you to win at home. So make sure the person you're aligning yourself with, they have done the thing, they are willing to challenge you to step up in areas of your life where you might be falling down right now and have those hard conversations. And they actually have a proven framework. They provide the actual tools and systems to take you from where you are now to where you want to get to. And uh, it's not an easy journey and it's so super rewarding. The reason I'm so passionate about this work is I feel like the real conversations aren't being had in real estate. No one's talking about, you know, how much money did you take home? Is your net worth increasing? Do you have net worth? Have you ever calculated your net worth? You know, personal wellness, where are you at in your physical body, in your relationships? Are you showing up in a way at home that you're lifting up your spouse and you're being a good, you know, father or a good uh, mother to your children? You know, this business can suck the life out of you and traditional methods and traditional coaching typically, and it's not to bash any other approach. There are a lot of good productivity coaches out there. The missing link though, is that they fail to keep an eye on the things that matter more important than real estate. So make sure you keep an eye on those things in your real estate business and the coach you choose to help you in your journey. So if you do this the wrong way, you know, the risk is that you'll spend a whole lot of time not generating great income and you're super stressed in your business. And that carries over into your personal life. If you're at the point where like I could use more time, I need some training in this area, go to the timefreedomchallenge.com or click on the link below. We get to spend 21 days together where I'm going to train you every day. I'm going to do live Q and a, I'm going to coach you. I'm going to challenge you to think about your business differently. And it's a full on 20 days intense time where we get to just look at your business differently and just think about how you use your time differently. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, make sure you turn notifications on so that you'll be notified first when a video hits and make sure you leave comments so we can talk about the content. I can maybe present something that you're being challenged with in the next video. You know, this journey isn't easy business ownership though, and the journey to get there, the phases of growth, uh, it is super rewarding. So dig in and do the work and we'll see you on the next video.